Just what we don't want to hear, another mosquito species recently discovered in Collier County. Now, we know the mosquito is considered the most dangerous animal on Earth from scientists because they spread disease. This marks the ninth new species discovered in the county since 2019. NBC2's Ryan Arbogast is speaking with the experts tonight. Disease carrying, blood sucking, and here in Collier County. You're looking under the microscope inside the Collier Mosquito Control District HQ at the newest insect species in Southwest Florida. It was a mosquito that we don't see in our traps. Executive Deputy Director Dr. Kira Lucas tells us Adiomaya squamy penis is known by its freckled body, pearl necklace shaped antenna, and the potentially fatal brain diseases it carries. Adiomaya squamy penis is known to harbor uh, Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus and uh, avian malaria. The good thing is, is that Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus really isn't a concern for Florida. Um, we haven't had an outbreak in the United States since the 1970s. The Collier Mosquito Control District says that this new type of mosquito is attracted to a specific type of invasive species that's already in our community. This below me right now is water lettuce, which the mosquitoes use as a snorkel of sorts to breathe underwater and to avoid predators. In particular, you're going to see this in, in canals, um, in ditches in the Ave Maria and Immokalee area, but it's throughout the entire state. Um, and we expect this mosquito to move north because there is an abundance of habitat. The Collier Mosquito Control field team is now conducting increased surveillance with traps in areas that have large amounts of the invasive plant, as well as the location the insect was first spotted. Collier Seminole Park along US 41. And it's just important that we have skilled trained staff that can identify new species, um, especially if one of those does present a severe public health risk. It's still too early to tell if this is a one off or if this mosquito is here to stay. The Florida Department of Health in Collier County says since they started recording disease data in 2004, there has never been a case of Venezuelan equine encephalitis in Collier County. Reporting in the Florida Everglades, Ryan Arbogast, NBC2.